what is going on everyone so uh yeah last night i was just chilling in my bed on you know scrolling through on the phone and i went down a rabbit hole a bad rabbit hole i was looking up the oldest tornado footage i was like oh i wonder what the oldest tornado footage is so i was looking it up and it turns out that it's a some footage from corn Corn, Oklahoma, what a name. Of course, the very first tornado footage is from a place called Corn, Oklahoma in 1951. So here is the footage from the 1951 Corn, Oklahoma tornado. So that was the first footage of a tornado, at least that has been discovered. However, it was footage from a couple of years later that really piqued my interest. And that was the 1953 F4 tornado that hit Warner Robins, Georgia, specifically the Warner Robins Air Force Base. And by the way, 1953 was a terrible year for tornadoes. You had Waco, Texas, you had Flint, Michigan, not a good year, like worse than 2011. So here's the footage. Now, viewer discretion is advised. There's some rumors that the person who might have filmed this actually uh, died. So just a little warning if you don't want to see that. But it's really old. It's like black and white, a long time ago. So I'm watching the footage and I'm like, oh, it's pretty good because you can actually see some buildings get destroyed. It looks like the tornado is kind of far away, but it's actually pretty close because you can kind of see some of the the whirlwind and then you see that wall collapse right in front of him anyways i'm looking at the comments here and all the comments are like yo this guy died yo rest in peace to the guy who who made this film blah 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 vince rupert died while filming this the warner robbins tornado killed 19 people including it's rupert the person who shot this film and then this other person was like, no, he didn't. They looked into it and it's not true. The guy didn't die. And then this person was like, yeah, it is true. So immediately I'm like busting out Google Earth and I'm like trying to find the location of this tornado footage. If I can find the exact location and I can look at the damage from around that location, maybe a little to uh, crack the code on if a supposed Vince Rupert uh, died while filming this uh, tornado. Now I actually went on to findagrave.com, which I use quite often. It's kind of interesting to look at. And I looked up Vince Rupert and I you know, looked up died in 1953. And there's absolutely nothing. Now that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. So that's the first sign where I was like, huh. And then I found this newspaper clipping and it had a whole bunch of names and Vince Rupert was not one of those names. So I don't know. The way the camera shakes at the end just makes it seem like he got struck by some debris or something. Cause he's not just putting it, he's not just turning it off. He's like shaking big time. So of course I wanted to figure out where this was filmed. So, I mean, obviously if you look at the buildings, they look like trailers, they look very recognizable. So I looked through some more comments and I found this one comment and it was talking about how her mom remembered this day really well and it, and it devastated the Ziegler apartments, Ziegler apartments. So immediately I'm looking up Ziegler apartments and there's nothing, but I did find some photos with the Ziegler apartments on them. So the first photo I found uh, it says right there to the north is the Ziegler area and then I look and these houses look just like the houses in the video so immediately I'm like okay all right we're, we're going somewhere so I look and I'm trying to figure out this location on Google Earth and this took forever I'm looking at the street names here was that Cannon Road and and Third Street and Giles Avenue and I'm, I'm looking I can't find I, I kind of find them I find Gal's Road, but it's like way far away. And then I realize, wait a second, Martin Luther King Jr. Road. I mean, obviously in 1953, nothing was named after Martin Luther King. So I was like, they probably renamed the road. So then I realized that Cannon Road was actually Martin Luther King Road. Anyways, I was able to look at the map and do some calculations and figure out some distances. And then boom, I actually found the exact area. I went back to like some 1990s aerial footage and then I saw that these, the footprint of these houses matched perfectly to the ones in the photo. And 
And then I find yet another photo, actually from the same Pinterest board. And this is an actual close-up of the Warner Robins uh, Ziegler apartments. So you can see they look just like the apartments in the video. And you can see the path right through there. So one particular building that I found pretty interesting was this one right here, because it has the front part missing, just like the uh, in the video when the front part of that building falls over. So I'm thinking maybe he's in front of that building. And if you look in front of that building, Clearly, that was part of the path of the tornado. Not a good sign. Okay, but let's look at this. Let's look at this footage one more time here. These buildings are pretty close together and they look like they're parallel. And then this one's pretty close as well, which is pretty interesting. But let's have a look at this photo again. And so I thought maybe it was this building, all right? But look how these ones are angled. They're kind of angled towards this, like they're not parallel, unlike the video right here where they're parallel. This one is pointed, so maybe it's not this one. And then I came to the conclusion that I think the tornado is actually heading directly towards him. So obviously there's no other building where it just has the front wall broken. So this building must have eventually gotten destroyed. However, if we go back to the video, one thing that you'll find interesting is that towards the very end of the video, Right here, obviously we see some major debris literally right in front of him, right? And then if we go over, look at this frame right here. He's obviously in a building and it looks like it's a brick building. This looks like brick, not, it's not super white like, the, like this over here. It's brick. And we have this debris right here, which means it's like literally coming right at him. So we go back to our photo. So we go back to our photo real quick, and it's a brick building, which means it has to be, zoom in here a little bit. It's gotta be this one or this one. And considering that there's this huge debris right here, right in front of him, and it looks like there's a ton of debris right here, I'm thinking it's this one. And if you look at this one right here, you can see the spouts coming down. So I actually think he might be looking at a window and the spout's right next to him. So I'm thinking he's right here. Did the guy pass away from the tornado? I think it's actually pretty likely because if you look at the buildings that, I mean, in the path, he was totally in the path of destruction. If you think about where it was filmed, the building in front of it collapsing, the wall coming down, we only see damages damage from buildings that were completely or really severely destroyed. I think that that could, I mean, he clearly was in a dangerous spot. We know that for a fact. Uh, so it's very likely that he might've uh, passed away, unfortunately. The Vince Rupert name, I don't know if that's his actual name or what, because I, I can't find anything in terms of newspapers or whatever about Vince Rupert. Findagrave.com had nothing. And then I went back to that comment that I had read earlier. And she said, to this day, you can still find some of the foundations of the apartments that were leveled by the tornado. Immediately, I'm hopping on Google Earth trying to find remnants of this. Now, before I did that, I wanted to figure out exactly, you know, what buildings were destroyed. So I went online and I found this website, the Georgia Aerial Photography Database. Go check it out if you want to look at it. But anyway, I clicked on Houston County and then obviously we have several years here, uh, but I went to 1949. So, so let's go to 1949 real quick. Now you can find the base pretty easily by looking for the airstrip. So up here we have the airstrip, we click and then boom. Okay, so we zoom in, we zoom in a little bit and then you see this right here, this little section. This is, these are the Ziegler apartments in 1949 and they're all very compact and close together and they look kind of like trailers. Uh, if we compare it to this photo, you can kind of clearly see that it's the same. These are the same apartments. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna now go to 1955, two years after the tornado. So this is the building right here that he filmed from. And these are the destroyed remnants of the Ziegler apartments. So for example, if we go back to our photo, you can tell that these two survived, these two right here, and then these two were destroyed which are these two right up here. And there's some destroyed buildings right here, which are 
these right here. Okay, so if we move this to 1966, you can see that they started building a new building right here, and they just left these empty, and some of these still remain. But the building that we'd be looking at is this one right here. And then we go a little bit further, and here's 1994. So obviously things have changed a lot. And then today, or in 2012, this is now an elementary school, which I mean, think about it. You go back to this and 1955, and these are destroyed. I mean, people died here. And then you go to today and they have an elementary school. I don't know, kind of weird, but this is completely different. This is a whole new neighborhood. And as you can see, there's still some remnants from the old Ziegler apartments right here, but these weren't destroyed in the tornado. These were just destroyed by, by some dudes later. But here is today, and he would have been filming if we go back and we look about right here, which corresponds to, yeah, about right here today. So obviously it looks a little bit different, but are there any remnants? Well, one particular remnant that I think could be a remnant is this road right here going through that got, all these were destroyed, so this road didn't really have a purpose anymore. And then we go in right here. It does kind of look like this little tarmac might be a piece of the road that went through here at one time. Now it's an elementary school, like I said. And then over here, this pad right here is pretty interesting because to me, it kind of looks like it could be this pad right here. So it's possible that this this could be an old remnant from, a, from the 1953 tornado, which would be a 70 year old remnant. I don't know for sure. Let me know what you think. To me, my, I, this is the stuff that just, I don't know, it blows my mind. Is it remains? We do not know exactly, but I'm just gonna say it is. So there you have it. Uh, there's some 70 year old tornado remnants. Uh, very interesting. They did end up tearing out this remnant and they put in like a road. Um, so you can't go there today to look at it. Um, I'm sure if you went out in the woods though, you might find some concrete or something. I don't know, I live far away from Georgia, so I'm not gonna go look. But yeah, I know that today's video was pretty random. But this was just something I was interested in, and I like making videos I'm interested in. So if you thought it was interesting, go ahead and uh, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more tornado-related videos. But yeah, thanks for watching.